Welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hello and welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. I am so happy to be live again. I can't see anyone yet here, but that doesn't really matter because this Draw Tip Tuesday is actually um, a live version that is a little bit earlier than usual, which means it's not really, um, you know, a, a great um, time perhaps for everyone, but um, it is for um, other people. It will be a good time. And you can watch this uh, recorded version as well later if you like. But if you are watching, um, well, uh, maybe you can uh, wave hello and maybe you can, um, you know, um, uh, tell me anything or ask me any questions. But uh, before we go into any questions or whatever, um, I would like to show you my sketchbook, my travel sketchbook, because I actually just came back from um, vacation. I was in the US for two weeks. It was a fantastic two week trip. And uh, we did kind of a road trip there, um, staying in places for a few days and then going uh, to the next place. And um, I filled the whole sketchbook. I'm quite surprised by myself actually, but um, I did. And I want to share uh, what I did and maybe share a little bit of the learnings um, during the filling of that sketchbook. Because with each, um, uh, with each page that I fill, I learn something and um, I want to show you. So let me just switch camera and um, uh, I will first do a flip through and then also I will give you a Draw Tip Tuesday tip. And um, that will be about how to make a flip through of your uh, sketchbook, because I got a lot of requests about that. And um, uh, I will show you how you can do it with your phone, so you can actually um, use your flip through on social media and share it with others to inspire others, um, or to uh, upload it, or anything like that. Um, and um, up upload it on YouTube or anything like that. And then you can also uh, share it on the schoolyard with your friends. Let's see, so um, I will skip to this camera and then maybe I can also do this. Yeah, that should work. Um, here we go, maybe I can... No, I'll just take this one out because I want the whole screen for you guys. So this is my sketchbook that I did during my travels. Um, so as you can see, I um, also collected a lot of stickers, which I really like. You know, every everywhere uh, you go, you can find stickers and they can be really awesome souvenirs and they tell you which states you've been to, and uh, just uh, reminders to yourself. Um, yeah, so so I love that. Um, just seeing the, the, the cover of my sketchbook makes me smile, um, and it gives me a, a really great, uh, you know, memory. I always put my um, details down in the first page of my sketchbook, just in case I forget it or I lose it. And then uh, because I just had like two or three pages left in my previous sketchbook, I figured, you know what, I'll just take a whole new sketchbook with me, especially for this trip. Um, and I started drawing as soon as we were at the airport. And then also in uh, during the flight, or during the flight, people around me. And then I also drew uh, my food. I don't like the drawing. I didn't like the food either. So that's actually a good representation. Here is my first drawing in America, uh, drawing our friends that we were staying with. Um, I was too tired to actually draw. And you can really see it. Um, but still, you know, I did do a drawing. And later on, I could add some... Um, uh, I could add some um, 
uh, writing. Okay, I see that there is a little bit of a problem and I am going to see if I can change that right now. Hold on one minute, please. On, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry about this. Okay, so it turns out that uh, the video was set on private, um, so a lot of people could not find uh, the video, which is really a shame, and that's why uh, there weren't that many viewers yet, so that makes sense. It's all my bad, but here we are um, just again, um, and hopefully people can find it right now anyways. So um, I will just um, go on, you know, from where I, uh, from where I uh, started. Um, so hi, hello, thank you for, uh, for joining. I'm so glad you are now finding this, um, uh, this video. So what I'm doing is I am uh, sharing my, uh, uh, my sketchbook, the sketchbook that I share, that I have made during my trip, um, a two-week vacation in uh, in the U.S. And uh, I was actually going to start and show it from where I left off before I um, actually discovered that I put the a video on private. Things like that happen. Um, so I will just start again. <laughs> so. Um, I was going to show you this sketchbook, my sketchbook full of stickers with, uh, you know, memories of the places I've been. And during the two week trip, I filled this whole sketchbook. I started this sketchbook um, because uh, I had just a few pages left in my previous sketchbook and I figured I can just start a new sketchbook for this trip. Um, starting right away at the airport while you know when you are waiting at the gate you can uh, do a little drawing of the other people waiting too and then in the air in the airplane itself it's always great to draw as well um, it's your own in-flight entertainment and then you get some food and you draw it i don't like the drawing i didn't like the food but hey you know um it's a good representation anyway this is a drawing that I did um, just after arriving in the U.S. We were totally jet-lagged. I tried to um, uh, uh, draw my travel buddies and our friends that we were staying with, and it was um, pretty awesome, uh, pretty awful, actually, and I sort of dozed off, nodded off while I was at it. Um, but that's okay, and I added some writing later in the left white space. Monday morning drawing the first real you know vacation day because it's Monday and then here we were on the road I was traveling with my husband and a friend of ours a very good friend and um, I was uh, really enjoying sitting in the back seat drawing and once we got to our first uh, destination, um, it was a four and a half hour drive. So we were sort of hungry and tired and all of that. So we devoured burgers and a lot of fries in this cafe where I did a quick drawing as well with a colored pencil. And we arrived in our cabin, which was a creepy, creepy place actually. I was really scared the first two nights. <laughs> until I got used to it, to the creaking floors and the doors and the... Ah, it was really a kind of a scary place, but once we got used to it, it was fine. 
And this was our view, actually, which was beautiful. There was a big mountain in the back and all kinds of layers of greens. And this is my first attempt to draw mountains and lots of greens, which is kind of an, a challenge from, for someone who is um, from the city in the Netherlands, where there are no mountains and not that much green in the city either. So this is really a study of all the colors of greens and all the different shapes, trying to represent that using uh, layered watercolors and some colored pencil as well. Um, yeah, so a fantastic challenge and a great exercise. More mountains and just a moment of relaxation, of reading and playing video games and drawing. This was the first moment that I really felt into, you know, in a flow of drawing. Uh, we went to the farmer's market and I was with my travel buddy, so I did know that I didn't have that much time, but I did want to capture this guy who looked like he just came out of a movie or something, um, like a, a serious, uh, cool looking farmer. And uh, it was really hot, so I knew that my travel buddies were ready to go for a cool drink or somewhere in the air conditioning. So I did this really quickly with a brush pen and um, uh, tried to capture the melons and the fruit that they had and the corn. And also I had to be fast because the customers were coming and going as well. And I really like the result of it. It's quick and it captures the movement and the energy of the moment. This is a very bad drawing of my husband. It's kind of scary, but I love this part. Again, a study of greens. And I like this little foot. It's an unfinished line, which actually works really well. So that's the thing that I learned from this drawing trying to combine colored pencils on top of watercolor. Sort of a drawing collage of the things that we did. And here again, trying to capture the mountains. I am still kind of awkward about it, but um, I, think, I think it kind of works with the watercolor and the different shades and um, the brush pen, and then a little bit of chaos of the street in front of it. Here's a drawing that I did uh, using um, a fountain pen with a bent nib. And I really try to be quick. So I did a continuous line drawing for quite a big part of this so that I could actually do this within an hour or so. This is a drawing I don't like. This is a drawing I don't like. This is really not my husband. It doesn't look anything like him. At least I do like the hands. A moment in a bar where there was a lot of energy flowing because there was a lot of beer and wine flowing as well. And um, that was a fun exercise again of trying to capture the mood and uh, capture the people, especially the bartender in color pencil. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm not really great at drawing cars, but I'm pretty proud of the cars that I draw, drew here. And uh, I like the, I, I remember this moment so well by just looking at the, at the drawing. It was raining and I hope you can actually see that in the reflections that I drew. This is just one colored pencil I used. A 50s diner. We didn't have that much time, otherwise I could have sat there for hours and draw so much detail. But I kind of think I captured the essence of it. And here's our first evening in the, close by the Grand Tetons, where we were going for a, a hike and we met our friends again there. And uh, as you can see, Abraham Lincoln was there too. Um, <laughs> Not a great representation, but I do like the, um, uh, I, I really tried to work with colored pencil on top of um, watercolor um, and try to work like sort of quickly just before dinner. And um, I do like the result of it. Again, a study of greens. My friend does not have a big head like that. Oh, and this is also interesting. 
um, waiting at a bar, I actually have a video of this moment. If you like to see that, I can show you. So I am using um, a brush pen for this, a Pentel pocket brush pen, and um, it, it helps me to really work quickly, as you can see. I try to look at the people in front of me and try to capture the essence of it. I think I did kind of capture that guy and uh, I tried to capture the other one too. I think caps are really hard to draw. But, you know, in America, you get a lot of um, opportunities to actually, you know, have that as an exercise. And every time there's that challenge again to, uh, to try and capture it. So, as you can see, I'm working fairly quickly um, because I also didn't know how much time we had before we were led to our table. So, at least I wanted to capture some of uh, the atmosphere. And um, so that's it. Thank you, Joanna, for actually capturing that for me on video. And then later, um, still while we were waiting, I added watercolor as well. Another big challenge for this uh, city girl from the Netherlands started with the, um, uh, with the mountains and tried to be really bold about my colors. I wanted to, you know, use dark colors, be daring with it. And it was at the end of the afternoon, so there was a lot of shimmering on the water. And um, that's what I really uh, tried to capture by keeping a lot of white and working around it. I kind of like it. Inspiration point, which to me wasn't really inspiring. There were just a lot of people around, so I drew them. And then this uh, was at a really nice secluded area, a really nice spot at the river. And um, yeah, it might tire you, but um, this again was a study of um, greens, trying to get the shapes in and all the shades of green. Um, yeah. Also, I wasn't really loving it, but I just kept at it. And then at the end, I was okay with it. Here's uh, Abraham Lincoln again, doesn't look at uh, Rob at all, this doesn't look at my, like my husband at all, this doesn't look at, as my, like my beautiful friend at all, but this kind of looks like Joanna, I think. Um, anyways, it isn't about the likeness, I do like what's happening in the background, I do like the moment that I really enjoyed. We were sitting at the table, this is our last, last dinner together, and uh, I captured it. So even though the people don't look like um, themselves, it's, uh, it's still a great representation and a great memory. We were in uh, a restaurant that was in a hangar. So there were some fantastic uh, planes. And Joanna, who was also a sketcher, and I, we went into the hangar and gave ourselves 15 minutes to capture it, to capture some of those planes. And we actually finished in 13 minutes, which was awesome. And sometimes working really fast is easier than getting into a lot of details and trying to capture it all. This is Old Faithful, a geyser. And while we were waiting for it to erupt, um, I was drawing the people who were having snacks and eating lunch and chatting together. And it was there were a lot of people, there was a big, big crowd, um, and they were all waiting for that eruption, which was kind of spectacular, actually. And um, while I was waiting, I could just, you know, work on layering those trees and mountains in the background, too. Again, happy as a clam in the back seat. Another kitchen and another very creepy apartment. This was in a basement. This was seriously like horror movie style, scary basement. I don't know how we got these, we found these Airbnbs, but it was quite an adventure. Drawing during lunch at a truck stop. Uh, drawing I don't like because I was just too tired. 
and this is a fantastic moment. I will really, you know, treasure this. Um, this was the first time that I went for a solo drawing. I told my travel buddies to get out of my way. I told them, um, please just, you know, go and try some local beers. I will join you again and have like hours to, to spend. Uh, I used a fountain pen with a bent nib, nib and um, part of it is maybe a little bit of continuous line. Um, and then once I had all the lines in here, I thought maybe I can now add some color, but I was kind of hungry <laughs> and I wanted to rejoin with my friends. So I thought maybe I can add color later. Um, when I was drawing, I was thinking about color because there was a pop of red here and a pop of red here and the house had a lot of blue in it. I guess I could still add it, but somehow I like it as is. And also this was the moment and I don't really like going back into a drawing that I already made like weeks ago. Again, a farmer's market with lots of things going on. Um, I really enjoyed sitting there for about an hour and just, you know, capturing the atmosphere and the mood. And when I left the farmer's market, I saw this truck, which I loved. I love the color, I love the shape of it. And again, I, I'm not really great at drawing cars, so I draw, draw it. Here's my husband sitting on the porch. And this is lunch again. As you can see, I uh, took a lot of opportunities where we were sitting anyway, uh, relaxing. So I didn't bother my travel buddies to wait, you know, for me to finish a drawing. I was just trying to get those moments where we were sitting anyway and chatting and um, instead of claiming a lot of time. And then we are back in, at the airport again and back home. It. So yeah, that's my uh, uh, travel sketchbook. I hope you like it. I hope um, I explained well, you know, the things that I learned during the, the drawings. I really think that with each page that you fill, you can learn something. And if you don't, you record a memory or, um, you know, you... Um, uh, you record something or you capture something that uh, is of value even if you don't really like the drawing and if you fill a whole sketchbook of course you're not liking all of the drawings so um, just a tip for traveling because a lot of people ask about it like how do you deal with travel buddies um, do you um, you know do you claim drawing time or how do you do it? Well, I also, I already explained a little bit. What I do is um, I try to find those gaps in the day, even if you have like a very full um, schedule of traveling, there's always moments that you can draw. There's always flexibility as well. So one of the things that are really important is to uh, explain to your travel companions, your family, your husband, your wife, your kids, whoever you are traveling with, your friends, um, explain to them why drawing during the trip is so important to you. Because if you explain, then they will understand and they will give you time. Because when drawing makes you happy, you will be a more fun per person to be around. So if you need an hour to draw, they can do whatever they want to do. You might miss out on one of the activities of the trip, but then again, you have your own activity, which is drawing, which will make you happy. And then it's fine to miss out on one of those things. And also there will be a lot of opportunities to sit down and draw while having lunch, while you know taking a break. There's always time to do drawing. Sometimes it may mean that you cannot finish your drawing or you cannot color your drawing, but you can always get back to it and do that, you know, at night before going to bed or um, when you are uh, back home even. It might be actually an extra fun addition of, you know, recalling all those memories, working on your drawings again. Um, so that was one tip, but I do have another tip. Um, 
let's see how I can do that because a lot of people have been asking about how do you do a flip through of your sketchbook um, with your phone so you you know if you're not a professional filmer or anything how can you do a flip through to share it on social media well you use a phone and what I usually also have um, usually actually I just hold my phone and then we play uh, put um, push 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 record the record rec record button and then start flipping through um, my sketchbook which is a little bit awkward because you will be moving and you have to flip through with one hand which is not really handy uh, but you can do it you can also get one of these tripods which actually fit you know your um, your phone will fit in it and um, you can hang that or attach that to anything so let me see if I can show you how you can do this with just the stuff that you have around um, here we go look I've got this um, very handy thing if I can hang on because I want to so I have this uh, this lamp it's just like a desk lamp can you see it just a simple desk lamp from Ikea actually and um, and then you can attach your uh, this is a takes a little bit of fiddling so have fun looking at me fiddling and trying to be smart and uh, well, failing of course <laughs> so you can attach that to the lamp like so because you can bend the tripod all the way and then this works. Of course, it doesn't work in one go. Attach your camera. This should do the trick. And hang on because I need to actually put this horse right a little bit stupid. Flip it and then aim it. Okay. All right. And then here you have it. It should be. Yes. Can you see it? No, it just crashed. Crashing. That's upside down. Do you still have time for this? I do. There you go. And then all you need to do is um, adjust your image and then it will take a few takes probably, but all you need to do now is um, um, to open your camera and uh, hit play or hit record, record and then you can do your flip through hands free. So much better. Um, so that's my little tip for you. I hope um, that actually um, uh, works for you too. Maybe you can find one of those tripods or you can duct tape your camera uh, if you like you can you know use a lot of different uh, ways you just need to be a little bit resourceful be sure that you do this uh, during the daytime so you have good lighting that's very important don't stand in the light so you cast a shadow over your sketchbook make sure that it's well lit um, if you do this in the evening, even if you have a great lamp to, you know, um, light, uh, light it, um, I don't know if that's a word even, then um, uh, the, the quality of the video won't be that great. So best do it during daytime, not in the direct sunlight because it will cast a lot of shadows, just simple daylight that falls, you know, through the windows, that should be fine. Um, I really hope that this 
kind of chaotic Draw Tip Tuesday has helped you in any way, I really liked sharing my uh, travel journal with you anyways. And um, I really hope that you will do a flip through of your sketchbook as well and share it on social media. Um, you can share it on social media once you have recorded it. Oh, and there's one more tip that might be helpful because sometimes, especially the iPhone, might actually flip your um, video upside down. And there's this app, it's called RFV. I can show you the app if I find my phone again. Um, this is the app, RFV. And um, if I open it, I can download a video from my camera roll and then for example here I filmed my um, I filmed my sketchbook but it's upside down all I need to do now is oops is turn it and then save it and that way it will compile um, the video in the right upside position and then you can share it. If you also upload it on uh, a YouTube channel, if you have one, then you can um, also share that video in the schoolyard with your uh, sketch pals uh, and, your, uh, and all the other sketchbook school students. Speaking of the schoolyard, if you're not part of it yet, you should actually sign up for a course at sketchbookschool.com because um, as soon as you sign up for a course you will add it, you will be added to the schoolyard and there's so much community fun going on in there so make sure that you uh, you join us and right now today is the last day of our sale our summer sale that doesn't have happen often at sketchbook school but we do have a sale and today's the last day so if you haven't already check it out at sketchbookschool.com and I hope you enroll in one of our courses and we'll see you in the schoolyard. Um, other than that, uh, if you do a flip through of your sketchbook or make any art that is related to Draw Tip Tuesday, then share it on social media with the hashtag DTT in action. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any Draw Tip Tuesdays, then sign up for the newsletter that tells you every week how to find and where to find the new tip that I'm sharing every Tuesday. Okay, thank you so much for bearing with me uh, in this uh, kind of chaotic Draw Tip Tuesday, as said. Um, I enjoyed hanging out with you. Uh, I'm happy to be back from vacation and um, I will see you next week.